Hello, and welcome back to the Temple of Elemental Evil. Let's go ahead and turn in this fish head to Grud. Have you caught that gar yet? Yes, I did. Here it is. He takes the fish. Thank you. Now those curs will respect Grud's squint eye. So, apparently he's going to take all the credit for our uh, work in the swamp. Uh, and for me, Grud? Don't worry, Lucian. I'll tell everyone in town that you're fine by me. My word carries here. I'm most appreciative. So in return for that, we get an increased reputation about town, and the merchants will sell to us at cheaper prices. Um, before we go on, I went ahead and leveled everyone up. Uh, the only thing of real interest was the, uh, the selection of new spells. So really quickly, Lucian got a new level 1 spell. I chose Identify uh, simply for convenience sake. Now we can identify magical items when we're in the middle of a dungeon instead of having to return to town. I also took, uh, for his level 2 spell, I took Cure Moderate Wounds uh, so that he can help with party healing further. In Nera's new spells, for first level, sort of uh, by default, I picked Charm Person, and her second level spell is going to be Mirror Image. Um, oh, also, uh, among all the gear that we, uh, we, we pulled out of the gullet of the, uh, the, the Frog King, uh, there was a Ring of Protection plus one, which I gave to Corin, a Longsword plus two, which I gave to Lucian, and the Suit of Elven Chain that we found was of, uh, it was a bit higher quality than the one that Lucian is wearing, so I gave that to Evelios. I also gave him the gloves of dexterity plus two. So he now actually has the highest armor class in the party, and that will be useful for uh, when he has to heal in pressure situations and in close quarters and such. Before we set out for the temple, uh, let's go ahead and quickly talk to this pirate here. So let's make sure Lucian is the speaker. Nice to meet you. I am Bertram of the River Pirates. Okay, and then we see the first option is a typical introductory line. But the second option says, What's an attractive young man like yourself doing cavorting around with the rest of the scum? And notice that the speaker is Lucian, and this is sort of a, a flirt. Um, Bertram is a romance option for male characters, and as far as I know, uh, his is the first gay romance in an RPG, or, or the, the first gay romance uh, for a male character in an RPG um, uh, what was it? Fallout 2 had one for females. Uh, anyway, Lucian uh, has, I guess, has eyes uh, only for his young bride back in Hamlet. Uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Melanie. So we'll just go ahead and take the generic friendly approach. Uh, hello, good to meet you too. I'm Lucian. I'm Lucian of the Nulb Adventurers. What's it like to be a river pirate? It's a lot of moving around, although I end up here in Nulb much of the time. Tolub usually takes me wherever he goes. Uh, tell me about Tolub. Tolub is a good master, although he's sometimes a bit hard on me. So you work directly for Tolub? Actually, I am more like Tolub's cabin boy. <laughs> I'm also pretty good with handling problems with the teeth, and pirates have a lot of teeth problems. Okay, yeah, he, he's also the dentist that, uh... Preston, uh, the old guy that we bought the house from, was going to pay to uh, fix his bad tooth. Uh, anyway, I don't think we need to uh, explore the intricacies of uh, the dental problems of pirates. It's probably due to scurvy and the fact that they beat the hell out of each other constantly. Anyway, so we'll just gracefully withdraw from the conversation. Um, if your character wants to romance Bertram, there's a short quest that involves uh, freeing him from slavery. You have to, I think you have to get into a fist fight with his master, uh, and then if you win, you can take uh, Bertram into your party. I, I think he's a fighter. Anyway, just an interesting footnote in the history of RPGs. Um, so let's, actually, everything I've said applies, uh, as far as I know, only to Western RPGs. I, I don't know anything about JRPGs. I've never played any of those. Um, and <laughs> and frankly, from what little I've seen, I, I've had trouble distinguishing the male from the f the males from the females. Anyway, uh, anyway, let's set out for the temple now. So here we go. 
And here it is, at last. It actually has a rather nice architecture. I like the stained glass window. Sort of looks looks like sort of looks like a Catholic cathedral. I uh, won't make any further comments on that. All right, so here we are. Let's just bust in the front doors and start chopping off heads. All right, unfortunately, the front doors are locked. Luckily, they've left the side door open, so let's just go ahead and slip in that way. All right. We're in the temple. Let's switch uh, the party formation quickly to combat formation. And let the slaughter commence. Okay, actually, there's nothing to oppose us on this uh, first... on the first level. Except for these uh, fallen columns and various other bits of debris, but we can probably pick our way past those. So let's go over this way, and we have a locked chest. So let's get Lucian to quickly convince it to unlock. Yes, okay. Will do. And inside we have Earth Temple Brown Robes. Now there are uh, three other chests scattered on this level uh, that have robes of fire, uh, air, and water. It turns out that the temple is organized into four different sub-temples. Um, one for each of the elements, earth, fire, air, and water. And you can take, uh, you can equip these robes on your party members and that will allow you to infiltrate the various factions and you can get quests from the faction heads uh, that will set you on the path to being initiated into that particular fashion. Uh, the, the four sub-temples are sort of loosely organized under the umbrella of a greater temple. Anyway, so it's just another option to uh, maneuver your way through the temple. We're not going to take that, we're just going to... as as tempting as it is to ally ourselves with Earth, Wind, and Fire, we're just going to go ahead and slaughter everything that moves. So, let's commence. As you command. Okay, and this level is... there are four levels uh, to the temple, not including the one we just came from, uh, and it this one is enormous. So, uh, let's start clearing. And we have a corridor littered with goblin corpses, so that's a great way to start. Let's run down. And we have an ogre. Alright, uh, let's get Inera to try to weaken it a bit. Sure. And she apparently doesn't have line of sight, so let's see if she can get over here. Okay. Of there course. we go. Okay, so he's a bit weaker now. Uh, if Velios can... Let's see if we can get him to run to the side and then take an attack. As you wish. Try to flank him. Yes, okay, sir. he crits. That's nice. Let's get Catriona to try to charge in and finish him off. Yes, sir. Okay, not quite. And here comes a hit. Eh, not much. All right. Uh, if uh, Lucian can just go ahead and start singing. Will do. And Corin can... can he make it in there? Oh, no, wait, uh, there we go. Yeah. Let's just try to finish him off. Okay. So he drops pretty easily. Let's go ahead and steal his wallet. And see what's in the barrel that is not empty. Okay, an assortment of, uh, weapons. Here's a magical spear. We'll go ahead and take that to be sold later. And some bolts and arrows. Oh, silver arrows, okay. Let's go ahead and give the arrows to Lucian, and the bolts can go to Inera. Uh, let's see. Okay, empty. And empty. For whatever reason, there are a lot of uh, empty barrels in the temple. Alright, let's head down to the other end. And what do we have? Knolls. Okay. 
Okay, um, let's run the fighters up. As you command. Corrin to ready versus approach. Catriana can run up also okay. and ready versus approach. We'll just try to choke them off we'll in this narrow corridor. It's probably the best way to deal with them. Corrin gets his attack. Okay. Okay, the Knoll misses. Lucian can just take a shot. I'm off. Uh, where's he going to go if he takes that path? All right, that will block catch. Well, let's go ahead and keep Lucian back for now and just run him up behind. He can bunker down behind the fighters. Okay, Catriona gets her attack. I'm off. Cuts him down. Here comes another one. Uh, let's go ahead and get Inera to blind. How many are down here? Let's see. This one's near death anyway. Let's get her to try to blind the ones that are still down here. Okay, they're both blind. Corrin can try to get a cleave, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Okay, he missed. Lucine can take a shot. Yes, sir. Okay, here come the rest. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Catriona misses. Uh, she can just take a shot. Okay. Okay, Corrin. Yes, he misses. I'm off. All right, let's try to cut this one yes. down. No. I'm off. Okay. Okay. And here comes the last one. Uh, okay, let's get corn. Right away. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cuts him down. Will do. And let's just clean up. As you wish. Right away. Okay. I don't think there are any more down here. No. Let's go ahead and loot them. They shouldn't have much. Probably just pocket change. Right okay. away. Right away. Sure. Okay. And let's see what's in the barrels. Okay. Okay, more arrows. And I oh, might as well take the crossbow and the longbow. They don't weigh very much. Alright, uh, give those to Lucian. Those can go to Inera. And what do we have? More silver arrows. Alright. Okay. Oh, we've taken the first step on clearing the temple. So, when we return, more combat in the Temple of Elemental Evil. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned.